Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Productivity 2000 PLC Array Functions Part 2. An array is a storage area for a group of common data type tags. They usually have some relationship with each other and need to be manipulated as a group. We can use arrays for motion control, recipe management, sequencing, indirect addressing, math, etc. The Productivity 2000 series PLC uses arrays that are programmed using the Productivity Suite software. Last time we defined an array and used it in an indirect addressing program. It sequenced bits in an output card indirectly. In the second part, we will be looking at the following instructions. Array statistics, STA. This will perform operations such as summing, averaging, minimum value, and median value on an array. Copy Array, CPA. Copy a block of one or two dimensional arrays into a destination array. Fill Array, FLA. Copies a value to a block of array elements. Shift or Rotate Array, SRA. Concurrently shift or rotate values in an array. Let's get started with the Productivity 2000 series PLC Arrays Part 2. Detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. Productivity Array Statistics (STA). This instruction will perform statistical operations such as summing, averaging, min value, and median value on an array. We will use a structure with this instruction, STA array. If we did not, then we would have to specify an address for all of the parameters required for the instruction. We will use the array called sequence from last time. We will sum the elements in the array. Min, max, average, and median are also available as part of the array statistics instruction. Our tags can be defined. Set the end column to the initial value of 3 and the start column to the initial value of 1. Our instruction will then add or sum the elements of the one-dimensional array starting at 1 and ending at 3. Note, all arrays will start with 1. Switch 2 is used to execute the array statistics instruction. Our array sequence has the elements 0, 1, and 3 added together. This will produce the output 4 in the output parameter. If we change our end element to 4, the resulting sum would be 11, 0 plus 1 plus 3 plus 7. Productivity Copy Array, CPA. This instruction will copy a block of one or two dimensional arrays into the destination array. We have added two arrays. Call up the tag database by hitting the icon under the right program in the application tools or from the main menu, edit, tag database. When the tag database window appears, select add tags to the bottom left of the window to add tags. Our two arrays are called source array and destination array, or DEST. They are both 16-bit, unsigned, two-dimensional arrays with two rows and two columns. Our source array contains the values of 1, 2, 3, and 4. We will use a structure with this instruction called CPA array. The source array will be source array and the destination array will be DEST array. Ensure that the copy value is selected. Notice that we can also select clear source and copy binary. When switch 3 is enabled, our copy is executed. You will see the source array is copied to the destination array. Productivity fill array, FLA. This instruction will copy a value to a block of array elements. We will use the structure name FLA array. The array that we will fill will be the destination array that we have created above. Define the following tags for our instruction. Start row one, start column one, end row two, end column two. Input zero. This will fill the elements in our array with the value of zero. 
When switch four is energized, the array will be filled with the input value based on the starting and ending locations we specified. In our example, we have zeroed the destination array that we copied from the previous example. Productivity Shift Rotate Array, SRA. This instruction will concurrently shift or rotate values in an array. We have created a one-dimensional array called SFT Array. This array is an integer 16-bit unsigned 1D array. We have 128 columns or elements to shift or rotate. The first few elements of the array are set to 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, etc. The structure name will be STR array and the one dimensional will be STF array. Select the rotate array elements left and ensure that the one shot is selected. This means that the instruction will execute only on the transition from off to on. Switch 5 will execute the shift ro rotate array instruction on the leading edge, one shot. We are rotating the elements left so the elements all get shifted and the element in the first element gets moved or rotated to the last element. If we change the column elements to 8 and rotate, you can see this in operation. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.